fix each month. I'll see you there. Hi there. I'm Sean Carroll, a theoretical physicist at the California Institute of Technology. It's been my great honor to be your host for TCM's Friday Night Spotlight on Science in the Movies. And next, we have our last film in this month-long series. It's Edward G. Robinson, headlining Warner Brothers' 1940 biographical film, Dr. Ehrlich's Magic Bullet. Dr. Paul Ehrlich was a Nobel Prize winning doctor who was most famous for discovering a major medical breakthrough, the cure for syphilis. He also helped develop the diphtheria shot and developed radical new ways of applying chemistry to medical science. The magic bullet in the title refers to Ehrlich's method of injecting chemicals into the blood to fight various diseases. A pioneering medical breakthrough, certainly, but producer Hal Wallace wrote in his memoir that one of the biggest reasons why he was keen to make this film didn't really have anything to do with medicine. It was to help refute a widely quoted 1938 statement by Adolf Hitler in which the dictator said, a scientific discovery by a Jew is worthless. Ehrlich was a German Jew, so the Nazi regime in Germany had systematically expunged all memory of Ehrlich from public buildings and street signs and censored books referring to him. And yet, Ehrlich was, and still is, one of the greatest doctors in medical history. Perhaps this film helped keep the record straight about his accomplishments. As for the star of the film, Edward G. Robinson, he once wrote that among all the plays and films in which he appeared, he was proudest of his role as Dr. Ehrlich, since he was a doctor who insisted on telling patients the truth and fighting against hospital procedures that were bound by bureaucratic red tape. It's a great performance that shows just how heroic a man of medicine can be. From 1940, here is Edward G. Robinson in Dr. Ehrlich's Magic Bullet. Thank you. 